Six, the city of Hartford getting creative when it comes to recruiting some new teachers in the capital city. They're casting a wider net in hopes of finding new talent outside of the country. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon is live right now in the capital city with more details for us at 6. Christian. Yeah, it's all to address the teacher shortage, and they, we have heard of their program called Paso a Paso, which where they recruit teachers from Puerto Rico, but now the district here in Hartford is hoping to give out about 15 U.S. visas from, for teachers from other Caribbean islands. Four months ago, Paola Rosa Medina traded the Caribbean for Connecticut. Teaching can be challenging, especially when you come from another country, but the students appreciate everything that we do every day in the classroom each day. Rosa Medina was hired from the Dominican Republic, all part of a program called Caribbean Connection. HPS is partnering with International Alliance Group to sponsor 15 teachers under J-1 visas. J-1 visas are non-immigrant visas for individuals approved to participate in exchange visitor programs in the United States. These qualified English, music, science, art, and math teachers would live in Hartford for three years with the option to extend their visas to five years. Plus, they will be given a $5,000 incentive, relocation money, and help with housing. Districts, not just in, in the state, but across the country, um, are facing staff shortages, and Hartford Public Schools is continuing to work hard to fill uh, the vacancies and think about our strategy longer term. So far, more than 140 people have applied, but there are only 15 spots. Those applicants will be vetted and will need a Connecticut certification. But on top of getting a full staff, the district is hoping to improve diversity within their staff. When we think about our commitment to ensuring that we uh, have educators that represent our students, that our students are able to see themselves in the adults that are not only educating, but also creating caring environments for them. And the district plans to have several virtual informational sessions about this program. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the program and get familiar with it, we do have that info on the Channel 3 app. In Hartford tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Owens News.